So my people, my people, well now welcome to Urban Land TV and Radio Station. Today, we will welcome for our studio, one of our big sister, where he been living music legend. This person, now she we know for the African queen of reggae. In fact, she gets many albums where we know it count. The mother where they celebrates everybody with one special song where we know as Happy Birthday. Her name may be Evi Edna Ogole. We welcome you again to Urban Land Magazine and TV radio station. Madam. I greet you now. I'm, happy, I'm very happy to be with you. So as we talk here before, here now pigeon, now we tell the talk to everybody. Not be that people go evil. I beg. We go like, may you come down to our level for the question should be say we we'll, we'll ask you now. Now we don't say we don't know you for almost 30 years now. Not be small, you don't play many music, you don't sing many songs. Then my name will be small. But the question I'll be saying, where you come there since this year's madam? Yes, so I did for Paris, France, you know. So I did uh, I went uh, I did do uh, volunteer work for UNICEF International, you know, for children uh, to buy uh, medicine for uh, this problem of polio and many things like that. And uh, I'm very happy because it's one of the things that I like doing best, you know, uh, helping uh, uh, do volunteer work is one thing that I love best, you know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, the next question we would like to ask you, maybe this one. If you tell us how you take entire music entertainment industry. Yeah. You see? When I was a child, I did, I did listen to uh, reggae musical. I love reggae too much because when you listen to reggae music, uh, the bass line, then the message, you know, is something that is uh, wonderful. You know, because in reggae music, we talk about uh, uh, peace, we talk, we talk about love, and we talk about uh, unity. You know, we fight, we they fight all wars, or we fight against all wars, you know. You know, now that that one I stand for, even for Nigeria, when I was a child, this tribalism thing, they, they worry me. You get one of my songs in uh, my first album, my kind of music, tribalism. You know, if you listen out well, you go not say me, I prepare well, well before I enter reggae music. Now, but the first song when I write, I write that for all mothers all over the world. You know, I I, I, I tell people say, mama na mama, whether your mama blind na your mother. Whether your mama not get money now, your mama, you know, it's so uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, the message. So in bridge, now the message for reggae music, now it make me uh, sing. And my, I also uh, appreciate all Jamaican uh, reggae artists because Jamaican reg reggae artists. What thing I like, what one thing one that they like about them, where well, well, now we say they they, they recognize Afri Africa as their home, you know, and they fight that they fight to tell the world say. They, whether they are in Jamaica, what, whatever, wherever they are, they are from Africa. You know, they are all black man. You know, first when you get this skin black, in Africa, now you come from. Uh, you know, go say uh, you can stay in Europe, but with this your black skin, we are all Africans. So I love them. When you talk of uh, 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 root Nazi, root Nazi Congo, ah, uh, root Nazi, root Nazi Congo. You know, when you listen to that song, now wow. Uh, it just they tell the people say Africa and Africa they, they are here to fight for us. When you listen to Bob Marley, they they, they ah, we still go talk again now. They they don't talk and finish. I know they I not get anything to. I want you listen to Jacob Miller, every all of them, Peter Tosh, you know, uh, God bless them, uh, Jimmy Cliff, you know. So now now, now that kind of message, that kind of uh, telling people that uh, we should be proud of where we come from, you know. Now it make me sing. You know, and I love okay. that kind of thing. And at the fact that this world, I pray I always sing for peace, love, and unity. That's so good, 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 good. Now, the thing will be so what he asked you now. I'm sorry, somebody say you don't tell us now. If you tell us where you tell the least your first album. Yeah, 
my first album uh, na 1987 na release am and the title na my kind of music na ima ogosi na he arrange and produce am and uh, for polygram international london england now uh, premier music you know na then uh, uh, release the album in nigeria for african countries and when i was uh, going when i was releasing it i never knew it would sell out you know and that record really opened roads for me and uh, i don't know how uh, I, I don't, the man that was there uh, he came in from uh, uh, polygram international london office uh, his name is uh, tom Cessna. you know he told me see if i can sell 50,000 copies he will give me award <laughs> the record sold uh, millions, you know, and it's still selling to today. You know, one thing I, I, I what, one thing when I go talk for here, I don't know how I go thank my fans so all over Africa, all of them and uh, all of them are abroad. You know, when I sing uh, my uh, Isoko language that they appreciate and well, well, and some of them they talk, say, what thing are they talk? If they tell them something for their language, you know, even if they don't understand when they talk, they, this kind of love when they get for me, I'm not going to thank them. You know, so I uh, say hello to my fans. I love you, and uh, it's wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, madam. So you see, and I say, we don't hear and I say, you don't tell me, say, you don't start this music, take, take, because even some people today, they say, they never born that time. Now, all of them, that don't begin to sing. So you should say, you'll be real African queen of reggae, not this small thing. So now, the next question will be so we would like to ask you, that be this one, madam. You don't already tell us now what TBC make you start music. So we go yeah. right now, make you tell us when they take bonjour. Because don't tell me we say you start this music. When they take bonjour. Ah, I they feel uh when they born me, it's not important. Now the way I feel, now it's the important. So we can skip it and talk about all that thing. I don't ah, I okay. don't care about it. Now okay. how I feel, nice day important, you know. <laughs> you do well, you do well, you do well. But if you tell us whether for bonjour. you. Ah, the bomb now what now? Ah you know the yet you know the yet the way they speak my PG. Now worry the bomb me, you know. Uh, then we'll come stay briefly for Isoko land. Then before we come move to Portacot in River State. Like, <laughs> so you miss the area. Uh, you know. The area. area. Uh, for River, yes, now nah, I was born in Wari. I grew up in Port Harcourt. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. I stayed with so, in Isoko. Very, very good, very good. So now, yeah. you feel tell us about your education background, as in school where you go, yeah, I go to the money, as uh, a school issue, you know? Yes, so, yes, so. My parents sent me to school uh, in their homeland, in MAJ. MAD now my papa uh, hometown with that. For MAD, uh, MAD hometown in Isoko. Now they are for go grammar school. And the thing helped me well, well, well because now you make a fit uh, the right by songs in Isoko, you know. Uh, because when we uh, for our house or potakot, we know we they speak Isoko Sha, but we they speak more of Fiji. For me, when go school now for our homeland, the thing can register for my head. So now you the right uh, Isoko mm, my Isoko. That and not be, not not be just that uh, uh, they read the bible to isoko uh bible when i read them it's the thing they enter my head so i went to school in a mid grammar school in my father's hometown then i went to uh school of basic studies in uh, river states mm, yeah. very good when people are here also say you don't tell me say she maneuver around she go to school well not be small <laughs> now the next question will be so would like to ask you that be this one you don't marry? Yeah, yeah. I used to be married to Ima Ogosi, but now I'm single. I'm a, when I travel come on from Nigeria, I was a single lady. Me, I'm not married again, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you, don't, you don't define again? Ah, um, I do, I do, but I'm not the talk about that one. I keep on to myself. All I know be say I am a single lady. <laughs> I left uh, Nigeria a single lady, and I am still single. And I'm not looking for shower because I'm okay with the way I am. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you don't define. No, I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for. Okay, uh, well, I do okay. He says you don't define, you don't look for my people that they head up. So. I'm not the look for. I'm not okay. the for now, I'm not the look for. Today we know. Okay, okay for now, I'm not the look for. Maybe later, if you find. 
Hey, today we know, tomorrow we not know. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. If you tell us something about your family background, about your family, like your papa, your yeah, mama, papa, your brothers, your sisters. Papa, yeah. I started from a very, very humble beginning. You know, I tell you, Senna, for worry, the bomb me now. My papa, mm. na, na, na reverend, my mama, na, uh, uh, school teacher, you know, so that that, that kind of up, upbringing, you know, that kind of uh, simple background, now they guide me for a while, uh, you know, and I say hey, hello to my parents, uh, wherever they are now, they, I know they are with God, you know. Uh, so what I'm saying is that uh, that kind of humble beginning is very good for me. When I released my first album, I was just a minor, and uh, the upbringing that I got from my parents helped me in life, and it's still helping me today, you know. I don't mm. do things because somebody is doing it. I don't wear a dress because somebody is wearing it. I do my thing my own way, you know. I don't care. If I, I don't care about this is what is raining. It's not my cup of tea, you know, because we grew up. My parents, we are not rich. You understand what I mean? And uh, uh, I, I like simple life. You know, and that's what uh, makes me happy. Very well, very good. That are true will be that. Now, another question we will ask you now, they say, because you tell us now, say, the background where you come from, your your parents are they bring you up, your papa, your mama, are they take, uh, yes. drag, make sure see the children are well. Where are they now? Yes, uh, my, 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 that's what, why I said, God take care of them, they are no longer here. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, they're very sorry. Not this morning. Yeah. So now, but you still get children. Yeah, I have two lovely children. Oh, I want to say hello to my daughter, Adora. Oh, no, I call her Big B, Ogosi, you know. Then my son, maybe Odezi, Victor. I call him my daddy, you know, Ogosi. Yeah. <laughs> I say hello to them. I have two children, two lovely children. God, uh, uh, God is great, you know. I gave birth to them very when I was very young. <laughs> You know, that is why I'm relaxed. I'm doing everything. I <laughs> When you ask me if I'm looking for a husband, I told you for now, I'm not looking for. Tomorrow, I don't know. But for now, I'm a, I am okay, happy, have a daughter, have a son, adorable. And God, God I thank you for everything. <laughs> where are you for born those, your children? If you tell us where you for born them. Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria. Ah, for Lagos. That's very good. Yeah, for and you don't greet them. Don't say hello to them as you talk just now. So yeah, now, nah. the next question will be so go we'll ask you that we say, we hear say you don't leave Nigeria to Paris for France yeah. for more than 18 years now. Yeah. If you tell us what you come to do for Paris is then? Yeah, yeah. You know, for Paris, uh, I do volunteer work, you know, for, I used to do, I used, because I stopped now, I used to do volunteer work for UNICEF International, you know, UNICEF International Paris uh, for children to help in uh, all these uh, um, uh, medication for children like polio, ETC, you know, uh, children that are, are not, uh, uh, don't have uh, rich parents from different countries all over the world. And uh, it's something that I keep to my heart because even when I was in Nigeria, I used to be very close to SOS village. You know, I like to help. I like to give. You know, my parents taught me not to give only what you don't like. Always give something that you like also to people, you know, because uh, it's one of the things. And now I have met with uh, NR Records here in Italy. They are doing eight people uh, change. Uh, eight people change is fantastic. And I'm very happy to tell you that uh, I am now an uh, ambassador of hope for eight people change, you know, that is in Nigeria and in Dublin, you know, in Ireland. And uh, when Eno told me, I did not even discuss it. Immediately he talked about it. I saw the woman that is in charge of it in the new city. That is the ambassador, Becky, uh, you know, uh, working yeah, working with Eno Records uh, is a, a very good thing for me because he's a humanitarian, uh, somebody that uh, a philanthropist, he has won, he won many awards you know, concerning this. And uh, Eno, Eno Osage, uh, uh, popularly known as Winninger in the music business, 
is a, a big star in, of reggae too. He sings reggae and they're uh, working with him. So reggae. now we will come down side later because we get that for grand. We'll come down side later. So I'm gonna probably like so one okay. jump things will be so we go ask you later. Okay. You understand? Okay. So now what did they be saying? Yeah. Go and explain some some yeah. of those things now you don't tell yeah. us as they be and as they work out. Yeah. So another question we'll go tell us, we'll go ask you now. See, if you tell us about your career for music and things where you don't do with them. My career for music, uh, what else can I say? When I re when I go, uh, release my first album, me and I don't say it go sell like that. Too. Okay. And since I release my first album, it don't open doors for me everywhere in Africa. Okay. Many countries in Africa. If I travel, go uh, Burkina Faso, Gambia, you know, Ghana, you know, uh, Sierra Leone, etc. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire. It's like uh, I'm in my home. You know, uh, my music opened doors for me, and uh, I, that's why I always say that I don't know how to. I know, I know they know how I go. They thank my fans because the okay. way that they talk about my music, I go. They wonder say, what in I sing say? Where they can't like me like this now? You know, okay. God bless them. You know, God bless my, fans. my music opened doors for me, and I'm very happy. You know, very well, very well. No. Thank you very much, madam. So as it be now. You know, see, I say, since that time we say you don't play music and you don't play many for this your reggae music, we say don't they? And this reggae music, don't sing that with uh, Isoko, with Pigeon, yes, and with and Isoko, with English. Isoko, Pigeon, English, yeah. Now say, I don't sing for French. French okay. language for this my new album, Paris a Bell, uh, okay. meaning Paris is beautiful. You know. Now I see Anna, and Nigerian music industry now. Don't they change after you don't become this kind of big artist? Now for the Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria industry now, you don't hear now say waiting they happen now for Nigeria now this Afro beat where they scatter every beer for the whole yeah. world. In fact, yeah. now it can't be number one. Now we say it can't be for market. You see, I'm so okay. with all this one, you they tell us now say you still decide to continue with this reggae music. Let I tell you something. When I release uh, my first album, you know, uh, my kind of music, our Baba Felakuti, he did it now. Uh -huh. He did it with his sound that we love, you know. Felakuti, unique, unique man that we uh, we adore, we worship, you know. So coming out with my album now, uh, if uh, there is still uh, uh, Afrobeat, it's the same thing. But when I release uh, my kind of music, my first album, there was Afrobeat. So I'm releasing this one now. My comeback to music, they are there. You know, in, in life, we don't. Uh, uh, it's good to have choice. You know, people, uh, many people love uh, Afrobeat. Many people love reggae. So like uh, pop, etc., etc. So I'm very happy for them. You know, it's good. Yeah. Right, so, right. Reggae, yeah would they consider uh, now? Would they, cons would they consider now? Say, as you come popularish, even with the music, we say you don't see. Yeah. We say people don't hear. Yes. You took an Austin say over your first yes. album, it's scattered every year. Then we call it kind of say uh, they try to say why would you would they consider for you all, say as it can't be like this yes. now. Why you not try to do songs where we say you could feel future like uh our another for a popular artist like uh two face uh in the Dibia, uh Whiskey, uh Davido, T Y Savage, and so many others. Yes. Why you not try me? Look, I just, just Make I just use this opportunity to greet uh, Two Face, so, you know, because Two Face, uh, his love and his solidarity towards me is wonderful. You know, one thing I will tell you is that when, when I don't read, as this record is coming out in future, why not? I can do many things. I can do things with many of them. You know, the road, uh, the door is not closed. You know, I I say hello to Two Face for his uh, wonderful uh, uh, music. Uh, um, wonderful uh, video that he did for me in uh, Facebook. I appreciate it. And uh, we are going to, my management is in contact with him and uh, we will talk, you know. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. Now the next question. I want to also to... greet, uh, sorry, sorry. I want to also <laughs> greet uh, Frank, uh, Frank D. Nero, you know, <laughs> I love him. He's great. I love many of, uh, of our artists in Nigeria. You know, I love Nigeria, I love Africa. I love Europe, I love Brazil, I love Jamaica. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, madam. So now, the next question we'll get for you now, we say, since all this time, we'll be say, 
when they talk about all oh, as it be, he has still a struggle for this, this music uh, industry. Even now, you don't want to start again. Now, you feel tell us yeah. the kind of katakata and enjoyment way day for this entertainment industry because we don't say katakata day and enjoyment day. So, if you tell us, yes, now as it be, uh, the enjoyment, now the enjoyment, now plenty pass, now plenty pass. I would prefer to talk to the upcoming artists, you know. I prefer to talk to the upcoming artists. You got many things to tell them better. I got many things to tell them. The only thing I go tell them is say when you want to uh, uh, go into music, just make up your mind that now music now you want to and make you not let anybody discourage you because there are many people who go tell you say this one did yeah, this one did yeah, this one did yeah. Everybody, every, no, nobody gets me heads. Then they get that one for their their mind. Say nobody gets me heads. If a uh, A can do it, they too they can do it. So I tell them, say they should always be themselves. You know, when I was coming out with my first album, me I not even know say you go sell. All I know be say I want to release my album, and at this music now I get, and at this message now I get. I can't release them. The thing can just they they catch fire, just they go, just they go like hamatan fire, you know now. So now so now now so it be so the now the enjoyments are now they always talk about. What you are doing, believe in yourself first. When you believe in yourself, even God said go believe in you. But when you say and I'm not sure I can do it, or you don't feel already, you know. So, now, so, now, now, so like this. <laughs> Very well. So, you do well. Now, the next question we'll get for board for you, like be this one. If you tell us the connection where you get with this Abbey Jam musician, we'll be seeing with a year of every time. Where you name now, Tikan Jam Fakoli. Okay, Tikan Jam Fakoli. Uh, which relationship you get with her? Which connection they? Okay, chicken jar faculty. Now, somebody, me and he, we, 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 um, in uh, Ivory Coast, uh, it's just music when they sell my, my music and you, and you music, you know, uh, just music, uh, Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire. Now they distribute my music for Ivory Coast, and now they distribute the music also for Cote d'Ivoire. Then in uh, Burkina Faso, it's Sidoni music owned by Fuseni John William Traore that uh, uh sidoni music that when they distribute my music also for burkina faso me and uh, tikan jaffa only uh we've been uh together for a long time i appreciate his music he appreciates my music and he's great you know uh it's like a friend you know it's like it's a very good friend of mine and uh that's that <laughs> okay okay now what about uh, our big brother we name now josie joe your official producer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My new producer. Which connection <laughs> my new producer. One of the other thumb up for, you know. Is it, uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank Eno because it's Eno, 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 winning jar that introduced me to Josie Joe. And since I met him, you know, I must tell you something. The first day we started the recording, the first baseline that is struck, you know, <laughs> the thing touched me in my heart. Oh. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, Josie Joe, uh, they call him Baddest Producer, and I say, yeah, I, I, uh, in French, we say we, oui, say correct. <laughs> Josie Joe, wow, he's great, talented. He, he knows music. And uh, I'm too happy. I'm very, very happy to meet somebody like Josie Joe. You know, by the grace of God, if I'm releasing, if I'm going to record my uh, another album, he's the one who will continue to record me, you know, it's great. And it, when he's in the studio, when we are working, he, he brings me back to my beginning, just like when I was working with uh, Justice Band, when talking about uh, Majek Pashek, uh, Amos McCroy, mm -hmm. uh, George Orwell, Black Rice, all of them, you know. So I'm telling you, the, the baseline in uh, my song, Peace and Love, that was, we started with the song, Peace and Love, when he played, when he played that song, when he played the song "Peace and Love," it was wonderful. And uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm telling that uh, Josie Joe is great, and uh, uh, it's like he's my confidant, he's my very good friend, and uh, he's somebody that you can count on any any time. And uh, 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 Eno Winninger also is a great person. He's a, a professional, organ a very good organizer, and everything is going fine. And uh, 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 I, th I, I thank you for asking me the question. Josie okay, Joe, you, you do well. You do yeah. well. 
You do well, madam. Uh -huh. Now, the yeah. question I want to ask you, because as we talk about Josie Joe just now, because question just mm -hmm. come for us from my line here. Now, we say, somebody send me one question, I'll quick ask you sharp, sharp, before we go continue our okay. interview after, again. After uh, after 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 one. If you tell us about this new uh, release, we'll be seeing the city come out so, without peace and love. Yeah. They say eight tracks. Yes. You tell us about that album. Okay, the eight tracks. Uh, uh, there is reggae. Uh, there is uh, uh, world music, and there is uh, pop and uh, jazz. You know, pop and jazz. And uh, like I told you, there is a song uh, that I, I'm singing for the first time. Uh, that is uh, a song for the first time. That is uh, in French. And I'm very happy about it. Paris a bell, meaning Paris is beautiful, you know. So uh, the H Ras uh, is a combination of many uh, uh, types of music, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about uh, this one where the name, the title, be say nobody can please the world. Yeah, nobody can please the world in the four corners of the world. It's like a uh, onopopa play at tout le monde in French. Ah. Nobody can please the world. Anyhow you do it, people must talk. They, they must complain. You know, it's a song that is very close to my heart. You know, uh, people, we always talk about what you do. Uh, when they say, do it like this, you do it like that, they say, oh, no, it's not good. You do it like that, you say, it's not good. You know, so uh, nobody is, uh, can please the world. Yeah, my uh, record company, they are not far away from here. They will want to say something. So let me pass. The message to them now when they finish talking you can ask me again yeah this is winning jar and no record owner and no record llc italy yeah please thank you so, very much madam thank you yes, now we they go back me. now again to this and no record we'll be seeing today since since now now no record yes now where thing if you tell us the relationship where there between you and this winning jar the Nigeria king of reggae, because in the make way to not be small, in the scatter everywhere, yeah. not be small. You don't talk about this trouble, uh, all this happy jam, all this bossa, oh, bossa, I they play him, no worry, I they dance up for you, so yeah, oh, bossa. <laughs> so like what do you, what, you, what do you mean the connection? What is the relationship where you got with apart from business of this music? Yeah, the relationship is cordial. Like I told you, it's a well organized. Uh, you know, uh, he's great, and uh, uh, I'm very happy to know him. And we are going to go together. We are going to go far together. We go, uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Good, 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 good. We get one expo where we say we just here now. This expo, yeah. the trouble was yeah. this as you come to our studio today. We go ask you if this expo, you no, know, sir, at times, if you just on expo, some more expo, you can say, I confirm. This one a true expo. So before we come say, no, not be true expo. So today the expo, I'm this one. We're here for most reliable plugs. Newspaper where they print, like leadership newspaper for Nigeria. So I say, you recently sent record deal with artist management deal, an artist management deal, and music publishing deal with one international record label, which they mentioned since. Okay. You know your name? You know your name? Because you remember the name? NLC NO Record. So NLC NO Record for Italy. They say you don't sign deal with them for five years. Is that true? Yes, so. <laughs> ah. So not be exposed then, Nari. Nari, now. Reality. Very good, very good, very good. And this this record label, so are you there where I say if they get Big, big artists, we've said there with them before. Like when they talk about uh, yeah. this, our uh, big artists like uh, Lucky Dube, uh, uh, King Wadada, so many of them don't deal with them for a long time. You know, aware of that? Yeah, I know now. I know, I know. I know. Very good, very good. Very good. Yeah. So now, we still get this way, we'll ask you, but apart from this, we'll be saying, we'll ask you since. You get things personally, where we say you would like to tell us before we close this interview. Whether well, I get anything to say? Yes, by yourself. What yeah, we say, we don't feel yeah. asking. What you feel, if you say this one opportunity for me to tell to, to tell these kind of things. You get okay, anything from my bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get on, get on. I just want to tell my fans that this is a Vietnam Ogoli. 
because there is rumor all over uh, all over Africa that I'm dead. But thank God I'm in front of you. I'm talking. You know, so those people that carry that rumor, they can see that the Edna Woolley is here and she's kicking fine. And there is nothing wrong with me. And so they should stop uh, spreading uh, <laughs> fake news. You know, so thank you for asking me to say this. And if Edna Ugoli is in your front and they can see me, I'm kicking fine. God bless you. Okay. That's so if you tell them now, say, you should not die. You dead, get it back. I the see her now. Hey, my brother, I did yet. When my time go reach now, God go take my life now. Not be the one when they, they carry the rumor or they talk, say, this or don't happen, this or don't happen. No, I did yet. They talk now, they for your front. Very good. Very, yes. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now, what do you get to tell other land TV and radio station? Uh, most of the fans will be say that they watch us now direct for this our station. What do you get to tell them? Okay. I want to greet them. I want to greet them because uh, the uh, the publicity one that they do for me, I appreciate them. I don't mention myself for some of my little uh, video what we do for Facebook. I beg you, I thank you now. Uh, ben Del, I'm from Delta. Then uh, ben, uh, we are from Edo. We are. I see regard this our Ben Del as one. Who, if you gonna not worry, I, I thank you now. Well, well. I appreciate everything. Yeah. <laughs> Then what do you get to tell about live TV and radio station too? I say continue the way you are. You are great. Uh, I watch you all the time because uh, uh, my record company, they are very interested in you. They watch news. They open it and I look at what you do and it's good. Please continue that way. Yeah. Thank you very much, madam. As we talked about before, this one at Urban Land TV and radio station. Today, yes. I say, we don't see this our big sister, my, my mother, will be say, if they sing happy birthday for all the children, not be small things. So I would don't see her now say, not be those rumors be say that they carry the go. She said she did sound, she did healthy. In fact, she did get it back. And the release will be say she want to release for every of her albums. I don't hear since. When this small time I remember, I go hear yes, say that album those are everywhere again. So not be smarty. My people, when I do well, we'll be saying, when I test it to watch us for this interview, we say, when I do well.